What's good with y'all? So today I'm gonna to be discussing what I think is a very less talked about topic, especially to high schoolers, and that's getting your associate's degree. Um, and so for reference, I'm a rising high school junior, and I'm also in my second year pursuing my Associates of Arts and Business at my local community college. Um, and so today I'm just gonna be kind of breaking down some myths about getting your associate's degree and the big three reasons why I think you should get your associate's degree in high school. So before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if y'all could hit the like button, the subscribe button, so more of my content can show up on y'all's feed. I know some of you guys are probably sitting there thinking, okay, what even is an associate's degree? And so in case you don't know, um, an associate's degree versus a bachelor degree, essentially what the difference is is that an associate's degree takes two years to complete, whereas a bachelor's degree takes four years to complete, and you only need 60 hours to complete an associate's degree, and a bachelor's degree takes four years. So kind of think about an associate's degree as essentially half of what a bachelor's degree is. So what a traditional schedule looks like when you're taking an associate's degree is that um, so within those two years, you're gonna have uh, your fall semester and your spring semester of your first year, and then you're gonna have your fall semester and spring semester of your second year. Um, and you're gonna take roughly about 15 credit hours, which is like about four to five classes each semester um, to complete your degree. And so the first myth I wanna break down with that said is that an associate's degree takes too much time to complete. I know you guys might be thinking you can't handle it in high school, but I'd like to differ from that. Um, I think, especially if you guys are taking AP classes, you can literally get like 60 to 70% of your degree done just from AP credits. So for me, uh, for my degree, I have to take roughly 20 classes to complete my degree, but I have 13 classes done from AP credits. Um, um, and that's including the AP exams I plan to take by the end of my junior year. Um, and so I only have to take seven classes to get my degree. And so I took three classes over the summer and I'm gonna take four classes over the winter semester and the summer semester um, during 2024. And I'll have my degree completed by then. Um, and truly, like, if you guys are not taking AP classes, there's truly a lot of other ways to get credit. Um, for example, there's uh, the College Board offers a program called CLEP where you can essentially test out of classes. And your local community college might also have certain manners that you can test out of courses. So for example, um, I have to take Texas government as a part of my degree because I'm in the state of Texas, um, but I know that I, I've learned a lot of Texas government and I'm able to test out of that subject um, through my college. So truly, I think you should think about your associate's degree as roughly, I'd say eight classes if you're really taking a lot of AP tests. Um, and so with that said, right, a great way to budget your time would be to take maybe two classes over the summer um, right before your sophomore year and then take one class during the fall um, one class during the spring and then do two classes over the summer before your junior year and one class in the fall and one class in the spring of your junior year as well i think that's a great way to complete um, your, your associate's degree and the second reason i want to bring up is that i really feel like an associate's degree is more than an associate's degree. And what I mean by that is that you have to keep in mind that when you get your associate's degree, you're, you're a part of this community college, just like you're a part of a regular high school. So you get to take advantage of pretty much all the community college opportunities that are offered to you. So for example, my community college has over 100 to 110 different clubs that I can join. I'm you know interested in the business field, clearly. Um, and so I'm able to participate in things like their finance club, their business club, etc. And I really feel like that these clubs are much, much better than high school clubs because simply because, you know, people in college are a little bit more experienced than they are in high school. So you will really learn a lot and grow as a person from these clubs a lot more than you will in a regular high school club. Um, it also opens the door for you to start your own club or your own organization at these institutes as well that, you know, you might not have been able to do at your high school. So for example, I'm part of the DECA and BPA programs at my high school, but I also have the opportunity to start one at my local community college, if so I wanted to. Um, and I think even beyond that, there's a lot of other things that your college offers that aren't traditionally offered at your high school. For example, a lot of colleges do a dean's list, so if you have above a certain GPA, or if you're maintaining a 4.0, you can get on that list, or a lot of colleges offer an honors institute. So if you're above a certain GPA, and you are, you know, taking an honors class each one semester, um, you can be part of that honors institute. And these are all things that look really good on your college applications when you actually decide to apply to a four years university. 
Um, and keep in mind that these credits count towards two years of your college. So you're actually saving a lot of time because especially if you're applying to an in-state school, you can actually shed two years off of your degree, which can typically save you like 30 to 50 grand, depending on how expensive your college is. Okay, and then the last reason I wanna bring up is just the, the, the number of doors that an associate's degree opens up outside of the college world. Um, so for example, one of the initial reasons I decided to get my associate's degree was, you know, my freshman year, I was looking for internships, I was trying to look for jobs, right, to just kind of get my feet wet. But as you know, a lot of them require degrees or some, some sort of experience, right? And so that's why I decided to just pursue my associate's degree. Um, and so what this does for me now is when I finish my associate's degree by the end of my junior year, I can actually get like a, like a real job like over the summer, like not just working in retail, not working at McDonald's, uh, nothing like that, but I can like really sign up as an accountant or something like that, or at least land a very, very good internship at a company. And so um, what you're doing is you're, you're setting yourself um, apart from other employers down the line, I feel like, um, because you're essentially starting your real world experience earlier than everyone else. A lot of people might have to wait till they finish their four year degree um, to hold on to a job, um, that's other than like retail, that kind of stuff. And so I really think that kind of helps you stand out um, in the employer world and also it looks really good on college admissions, college admissions I feel like. And I think the final thing to note is that I think, you know, if you kind of like messed up in high school and you're really concerned about your college admissions, like let's say your GPA is low, your grades aren't looking too good, your rank isn't looking too good, maybe, call, uh, maybe colleges, community college is a way to fix that, you know? You know, let's say you were sitting at like a 3.6 in high school, you're on way to GPA, you can come to college and you get a fresh start. And maybe you can fix that and show colleges, your universities that you're applying to that, you know, you're the real deal. Like you were able to improve yourself. And so I think overall for that reason, those three reasons, I think getting an associate's degree is a great opportunity. I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end of this video. So if y'all have any questions, I'll drop my email in the description of this video. So y'all can email me if you have any questions. Other than that, again, I'd really appreciate it if y'all could subscribe so I can make more content like this and help y'all out. Um, but other than that, I'll see you in the next video.